up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this Joni Mitchell song right now, but also huge shout and thank you to Boss for sponsoring this video and making a killer sounding patch for an acoustic guitar for the Boss Katana. So you got a download link right down below. Check it out. It's totally free. And check out the Boss Katana when you get a chance. All right, let's break this one down. All right, so I believe the intro of the song is not capoed but I feel like maybe Joni Mitchell's capoed on the second fret. For me, the easiest way to teach it to someone that would want to play it is the way I'm going to show you right now. So I'm going to do the whole song with the capo on the second fret and the intro with the capo on the second fret. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show that to you right now. If you hold this little A major chord is what I'm thinking of it as, and I'm hammering on pulling off on the third fret up on the B string with that index like this, then hitting the G string, so, then four frets up on the D string, back to the G, and then the open B string, and I'm just going to form the G chord. You're not really hearing the lower, higher strings. It's more like... But for me, it's easier to just think of the old G chord. So... And then I'm adding that third fret B string. Then this is an inverted D major chord. It's the third fret on the B then four on the D, and then two on the G. And then once again, you hear a little move like that. I'm just going to strum that one finger A chord and then hit up five, you know, two, three, four, five frets up on that B string. So while the chord's ringing out, I, I go... So two, five, two, and then two on the G. And then that inverted D chord again. Which is four on the D, two on the G, three on the B. So all together. the intro. All right, the main progression now, it's not too hard, and that's why the capo's on the second fret. Um, D, and then a G chord, however you can play it, but I'm hearing the open B, or, you know, capo second fret. G, and then you can do a little pickup note, a walk down note on the second fret E into an E7, and I, the E7 I'm playing is the second fret on the A string and the first fret on the G. And then an A major. So from the top, E, G, walk down E7, A major. Next part, so I'm playing the G chord, and it's a really good way to be able to play it if you're still learning guitar, is ring finger, middle finger, pinky. Because you hear that sus4 happen, which is adding your index finger to the first fret of the B string. comes back off, and then D to B7. So none of that's too, none of the, you should know all those chords if you're wanting to really learn guitar. So from the top so far, D, G, walk down E7, A major, G. G. Now 
now the G. D to B7. And then we're going to do G, however you can play it. And then a D over F sharp. So... So that's the second fret E string with and you're not really hearing the high E on that, so you don't have to worry about it. So G, D over F sharp, and then A major. So then there's this little refrain before the whole thing repeats over. And that's D, G, D, G. And obviously there were some little embellishments going on. So it's just that classic second fret hammer on with the middle finger. And however you want to play G, but you're hearing the major G major seven, which is the second fret up on the E string. And then the open, which would be the six. So it's like G major, G major seven, G major six. You don't really hear it on the second repeat, but that's just good to know and it's cool to embellish in your own way with the D and G chord and that G major 7 is a really pretty sound it's not going to work every time you try it but in this song it's perfect so now from the top D G E7 A major we'll do it again D D you know I ain't singing seven to A. Now that G major with a sus and D B7, yeah. Then G major, then D over F sharp, then A major to D. Refrain thing. So this other little bridge section, get so lonely, is E7. So we'll go in measures here. E7, G2, 3, 4, D2, 3, 4, A. Back to E7, to G again, but now back to E again, or E7. Now to C. Up to A, two, three, four, A again, two, three, four, G. A quick A, and then two measures of D, four, two, two, three, four. So the G, A to D, the G is one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, bump, bump. Back to the verse again. So let me go over that bridge one more time. E7 to G, then D, 
to A, back to E7, up to G, back to E7, now C, and now A for two measures, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, now the G thing, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, verse again. So the outro of the song that fades out is just that first line of the bridge. E7, G, D, A. Same thing, just E7, will you take me as I am is the line. Thank you so much and once again thank you to boss uh, for sponsoring this video and making that killer patch you got the free download link right down there uh, thanks again for supporting marty music hope to see you again real soon take care